Well, hello, Leos. Welcome to your second half of January of 2024 spiritual advice reading. We're going to start off this reading with the Kipper deck, and then we'll build upon uh, the messages we receive. So, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Leo needs to hear this information most during the second half of January of 2024. Sudden wealth. Somebody may be even playing the slot machine here. Uh, there's an awareness here of a path of abundance or the ability to build upon your path because of some form of abundance or money. Hmm, that could happen for someone around the 11th or maybe it already did. Oh, wow. So we have some Leos here who are connecting with someone who's in a leadership position, someone who's financially abundant, stable, and secure. Or you're thinking about going into the direction of this person and seeing uh, what they have to offer. And what they have to offer is greater abundance or money than you had uh, hoped for. In the relationship sector, we have the courthouse energy, so there could be some form of legal paperwork tied to someone in an official position whereby there's going to be greater abundance and or wealth. Yeah, there is fear here of a thief, uh, whether or not someone can be trusted. Interesting. But uh, it is the, this Leo's energy of unexpected income in the actions position. Uh, there could be some form of win here, uh, whereby something turns in your favor. Oh my, so in the emotional aspects position, we have this privileged lady energy. Recognizing some form of sudden wealth or unexpected income. This could be you, this could be someone else. Uh, a feminine who is connecting with someone in a leadership position whereby there's a lot of money, <clears throat> marriage commitment partnership, and in some cases, uh, current partnerships are going to go through this like second guessing who you're with type thing, but these two people work together perfectly. So if you get in your own way, you could block wealth and abundance from coming in. So this is all about positive thoughts. In the second half of January of 2024, Leo. Subconsciously, we have the judge uh, adjudication card. So yes, yeah, something is turning in someone's favor in the area of legal paperwork, money, selling something, buying something, and eventually moving into the direction of something that rather could, could have showed up or may show up here rather unexpectedly. So with the pathway card, we have many of the collective who are uh, looking at a brand new path, a new direction. A location or situation you have not yet uh, walked before. Someone's fearing that they can't trust someone. They want a new path with someone whereby there could be marriage and abundance and money and so on. It could be an unexpected connection that showed up here and someone's hoping that things will turn in their favor when it comes to stability. So in the inner strengths position, we have the message card. The strength to wait, I feel. For an official person to step forward here uh, to make an offer of sudden and unexpected wealth. My goodness. But there's fear about going down the path with someone here. So we have a child, expectation and distant horizons. Oh my. So yeah, we have a feminine here who is uh, looking into the direction of a new community, location, having maybe a, a child or children. <clears throat> Receiving high honors because of your hard work. And I feel that's already transpired or is transpiring for the collective Leos around mid-January of 2024. Yeah, there are some here feeling really down about a situation that could involve the courthouse. Yeah, someone's thinking about you, you're thinking about them. There could be someone older who's also watching over a situation. Yes, there could be someone older than you that is recognizing that you are working really hard when it comes to career finance and or money. <clears throat> they have been giving these cards together no matter how much I separate them. So toil and labor and bad health, right? We need to um, watch how much we're worried about 
uh, the effort we put in to something. This is about appreciating your life day to day, choosing the path that makes you feel peaceful and joyful and content. So we do have someone, again, maybe traveling into the direction of a message of wealth here or a message of wealth showing up here where there could be a call to travel into a new direction. Yes, things are going to get better in a partnership if you're traveling to a new direction, if this message of money and abundance shows up because an old path no longer serves you with the coffin card. Okay, something has ended, therefore... Uh, signing on the dotted line is leading you into the direction of a new path, Leo, whereby there will be additional abundance and joy. Feeling very privileged. So I think Spirit's saying, uh, give thanks to Spirit for all the wonderful things that have transpired that have put you into this privileged energy. And trust that Spirit has uh, helped for you to become him or her. Someone who is able to breathe once again. Someone's really thinking about a new direction with another person. So let's go ahead and confirm and clarify any astrological signs and or elements of who by which spirit may be referring to here in the second half of January of 2024 for the collective Leos. Confirmation, clarification regarding the circle spread we have previously discussed. Boom. Oh my goodness. Someone here could really hit the jackpot, I do have to say, with the nine of discs. There's like wish fulfillment when it comes to financial gain and sudden wealth. Something having to do with money or a new home and just recognizing that you're feeling very privileged because of all that is transpiring when it comes to a new path or direction. Three of Wands, connecting with someone who's in a leadership position. This could be father figure, uh, husband, uh or someone in a leadership position. Uh, there have been certain things you've been waiting on and spirits saying there has been and is now going to be the awareness of a solid foundation. So maybe you were just waiting on money, investment, something to take place here. And now, boom, we have a wish fulfillment energy of the Nine of Cups in the relationship sector. So, so for some of you singles as well, I mean, I see good things happening financially, you know, really putting your effort into what fulfills you personally and then trusting through prayer and meditation uh, that eventually someone's going to come towards you. Uh, maybe this is like the second or third person you've dated since you started dating. And now there is some emotional fulfillment coming from someone here who is uh, stable and secure. Look at 10 of pentacles right below the nine of pentacles here. So here we have a light at the end of the tunnel. I know which direction I want to go towards where there's going to be long-term traditional gatherings. Now we have to be careful, right? We're going into the direction of so much abundance and money and a beautiful foundation that sometimes we can walk in our ego and we can question things that we should not. So whoever that's for. Because here's what Spirit's helping you to develop. Four of Wands, the celebration of a new home, marriage commitment, partnership contracts, unexpected income. Finally, your actions have drawn towards you in the second half of January. Leo into the direction of a message. Some form of communication you were waiting for, and it does finally show up. For some, maybe it'll take until the 27th of January. But we do have the beautiful Queen of Wands energy. A lot of passion and excitement. Setting goals and meeting goals. This is you and your element, male or female. With the Queen of Wands energy, this is excitement about uh, taking this financial gain and creating and adding to a beautiful foundation. Celebrating or designing or updating your environment. Sharing with others this uh, ability now to go forward with hope in your heart. Subconsciously, we have the death card. So that is here twice. Um, so we do have final financial gain, maybe because of someone who has passed before. I don't think recently. I think there's something tied to someone that down the line maybe got lost. And now in some cases, there's this awareness of financial gain. Some form of legal paperwork comes your way and it's a gift from the universe. Bringing greater abundance and money from maybe someone you had least expected in the second half of January. So we have, in some cases, an ending of a partnership, going into the direction of financial gain and uh, fulfillment emotionally, a new path. Look at that. New doorways are opening up in the area of money. 
because of sudden unexpected wealth. And someone just needs to be careful not to walk in your ego and bring an end to a situation whereby someone's supposed to go forward with you in this. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like a masculine is seeing a feminine here as a very privileged lady type energy and things are getting are turning for the better because of legal paperwork or money that someone was waiting for. So in the inner strengths position, spirits giving the collective Leos during the second half of January of 2024, the Knight of Swords energy, the ability to trust that it is a time of change, uh, which involves ups and downs, right? It's a bit of a journey to change something, but it is time to kind of lay down that sword and trust with the magical number seven that your efforts are soon to pay off. So spirits giving the collective Leos the strength in the second half of January to just await what is developing. The messages you are waiting for are coming. Coming. And then you will have the wealth or the abundance or the income that you've been hoping for. So remain grounded amidst a lot of discord or chaos and trust that eventually um, <clears throat> things will start to balance out. Yes, see indecision between two or three different things you need to hear about, wait for, but then here comes that passion. Spirit's trying to bring passion and youthfulness and joy back into the lives of the collective. So they can find solace when it comes to their worries and concerns. All right. So I'm going to close with a message from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue for this second half of January of 2024 for the collective Leo's closing message, please. Yeah. So wait patiently. So there is a new direction, a new connection, a new situation that is in the process of manifestation. Remember how much you've accomplished in your life. And remember as well that you have much to be proud of. For now is a time to decide what's next in your life. As you contemplate the past and the present, you're going to start to become more clear when it comes to your divine life purpose. So don't be distracted by conventional thinking. Uh, do what it is that you love and know that it will be successful. Number seven, again. Look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to divine guidance, for you have balanced so many different priorities and are now coming out a winner. Wow, Leos, there will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, so don't be shy. Allow for others to shower you with the gratitude that you deserve someone in official position or you even climbing into a position of greater leadership a better location community but healing when it comes to old emotions all right so should these messages have resonated for you in some way and you have further questions about your own personal journey and or you just like a general reading feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email which is josie k42 at gmail.com i offer four one half hour video readings and they are a one month three month six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video along with the beautiful comment section uh, I want to say a big thank you to those of you who've come to me for your year of 2024 readings or who have gifted them to others. I am now still offering the Winter Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares, and those subscribes. Uh, but most importantly, a great big thank you to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day. If you'd like to donate, I have two links below, one via PayPal, the other via Cash App. Take care and God bless.